to the fancy boy On to blessing things I be sharp guy, yeah, people know I keep wondering why the guy never blew Some girls say they know the beef When my girl do the boss, we go be like overdose You guy really try them for the fun That's what all the chicks, they might say all around you Don't be mean I go do I keep moving on me, I never stop you Back then my ass are like they don't me Cause money no direct Now look at this party Feel it Press it Here's a digital button. Do you see? Press this one and see the difference. That's an analog button. Do you see the difference? What's the difference between this and this? Now, if I switch off this mixer and you press this, can you ever know which one is on? You see, it has been suspended. You understand? So it means on. And when it is off, it means off. Now if I put a drum set here, yeah, a manual drum set, put a live guitar, and I start playing those things, all those things are analog because I'm recording them in. But when it is digital, it means it has to be made in a sequential form. Two base LE, two base AI, two base element, Based artists and to this group, all these various versions, it all depends on your budget because they are more costly than each other. It also depends on the complexity of the project that you do. You understand? Because the features in all those versions, various. the number of tracks you can record in a particular version is different from the number of tracks you can record in another version. They all share same sound quality but varies in facilities. For example, why Cubase LE can only record 16 audio tracks. Cubase AI will record 32. You see, it's higher than the previous one. Then Cubase Element will record 48. Cubase Artist will record 64 tracks. And Cubase Pro will record unlimited audio tracks. So if you look at all these versions, Going through by the number of tracks they can record, you know which one is higher, which one is deep. You understand? So, in Kubase Element, you have about 1000 instrument sounds that you can use, but in Kubase Pro, you have over 3000. You understand? So, it all depends on your budget, it all depends on the complexity of your work, each of your projects. So, when you launch this application, what happens? It displays to you what we call a hub. What do you have in the hub? The hub window allows you to select from recent projects or use various templates. You see, you have the recent project that you have worked on. You can easily select any of it and continue working on them. You understand? You can start a new project by using what we call templates. You might want to record a job that has a guitar line with your vocal. You go and open this, it's going to automatically prepare channels that already has a guitar channel, that already has a vocal channel, that already has the effects for processing them inside of it already made. So all you need to do is take your guitar, plug it in that channel, and record your guitar. It has already been missed. Your vocal to just go to your mic, record the vocal in that channel. The mixing is already there. You understand? That is why we call them templates. They have been mixed and been prepared. All you need to do is to blend the volume and maybe adjust some settings to suit whatever you are trying to make. If you want to make a rap song, you can select an e pop production template. The channels have been there, mixed and everything. You just need to voice in those channels and adjust them. And that is all. So all these things are templates already prepared. You can work on your recent project and you can decide to start afresh. So if you want to start afresh, we have to work. Decide which location we are putting our project. There is a default location that has been set by Kubis that when you what create an empty, your project will automatically be in this direction. 
So there is a folder called Kubase Early AI Element Project that is inside documents. Let's find out. Inside my documents is telling me that there is this folder and that is the directory is telling me. So whenever you just start a new project, it's going to what? Automatically save the project here. But if you want to decide which location you want to save it, then you have to go to what? Prompt for project location. So when you click create empty, it's not going to automatically create it, but it will ask you because you said it should prompt for the project location. You understand? So when you say create empty, it's going to ask you where you want to save. Then you can now select which directory you want to save. And it is always good for you to make a dedicated folder for your project. So when I make any folder on this desktop, in a professional term, I will say I'm making a session rather than using the Windows term, making a word a folder. Now I'm creating a session. The name of the session is Work Short 2. So once I press my enter, it's going to be workshop too. Now let's see what happens in your what in your workshop folder that you have created. This is the session. Automatically, when you create this session, something comes in it. We call it the audio folder. More things will start coming into this session because as you apply sounds, as you put samples, as you put lots of things that you want to use in your code, everything will be interpreted and be saved in this world, in this session. Anytime you are using Kubase 8 upward, you will find something like this. It combines what the title bar with the menu bar. Follows by what the tools bar. This line that follows the title bar is called the tools bar. What do you have on it? You have some short, short icons, tools that you can use to work inside of your project. You have the pick tool, you have the select tool, you have the scissors, you have the glue tool, the laser tool to clean, you have the zoom tool to magnify, you have the move tool to keep something moved or silent. The line is called the status line. The status line. The next line you have is the invisibility can never be possible when you do when me and my gas with the use. See a new guy more do you bought it? Stop asking questions, you know be not says to me. She let me gas, she let me shit, she let me new look, she the fun to boy. I see the guys, I see the guys. Go ahead and select the VSC instrument that I need. But if I don't know the VSC instrument that will give me what I need, I'll go to the media bay and type what I need. Is it for dance or is it for pop music? For pop. You see, the options here now is now reducing. So, is it going to be dry? Is it electric or clean? It is clean. Then I have to the options to see. Any of these will give me whatever I want. Then the lower zone. The lower zone has the mix console, the editor, what? the sampler control, and the chord cards. So, what happens here? The mixing console is like a mixer, right? Every channel you have here or every track you have here is connected to this part of the of the Kubase, the zone, the lower zone. All these views, you don't need to worry about them because at a point in time that you need them, they automatically come Working with virtual instruments. What they do is that they imitate the real life sound. For example, you have a piano that you play at home. And you want to use a piano on the system you have a software that can generate the sound of that piano for you and that software is called the vsdr so it's a plugin because you use them inside your door system 
SDI, I want to use a VSDI or a plugin to generate a particular tool. Then I need a VSDI. Then for me to be able to use it, I have to create an instrument or a MIDI track. How do I create an instrument or a MIDI track? So for you to use a VSDI, you have to create one of these tracks. The instrument track or what? The MIDI track. Once you click on the instrument track, what happens? You have a dialog box. You call this a dialog box because it communicates with you so that the software can understand what you really want. You want to add an instrument track. Yes, how many instrument track? Is it two or three? What is the instrument that you want to create? You can select out of the list of these instruments that you have. Now, let's select a chroma code add track so what happens the instrument what will be added this is an instrument track and automatically this instrument track we have something in what in the inspector panel the inspector panel is at the what the left zone this instrument now i can adjust the body i can adjust the panning the delay compensation i can change the instrument actually okay. so you have the input and you have the output now we have some vsti or some instrument that has just one sound one tone and we have some instrument that has a lot of tones so for example this one has a lot of tones so i can select any tone that i want if you are not sure which vsa instrument to select click on browse and type name of real life instrument it means that when you click on this and you click on instrument track but you don't know what to select here so what you need to do is what? Click on this browse. This browse is similar thing that you have in your media bay at the right zone. So what you need to do is that go to the search panel and type. So just type the name of the instrument that you want. Maybe I need a drum. Abi? So category. Drums and percussion. Now, let's really talk about the top part. How do you work with the top part? The first thing you must know about the top part is that the top part is accessible at the lower zone. It can work with the MIDI controller when this is activated. So when I disable this remote control, this is not working this thing is not working with this again so if i want to record this drum cut pad through my controller what will i do just you see you see that all these things has been assigned You have to play. You understand? Now, since it has been activated, working with the chord part, I cannot play my chord anymore. But if I want to play my chord, I deactivate the chord part. Then I can play. You can change the pattern from the keyboard layout that it is to the drum pad layout, and you assign those sounds to them, those chords to them, and you can actually work. Use them to program your sounds. So, but without the control, the controller, you can always drag your chords and work and use. So that is why I say you don't need to know music for you to work to make music. But you need what a sense of sound for you to be able to make those music. When you are working on music projects, it is always best for you to work with bass and beat. From ear to ear is one bar. This is one bar. But inside of this one bar, you have how many beats? One, 
1.2.3.4. Through this now, I'm able to make this selection in a smooth way. Without this now, I will not be able to select it in that smooth way. So, activating my snap will allow me to select this one in a smoother way. Then, activating my circle will allow me to be able to repeat this sound. Now we ask you a question, do you want to create a MIDI track and assign this instrument to it? Because I've already added the instrument. For me to use this instrument, I'm not going to add an instrument track. I'm going to add what? A MIDI track to assess the instrument I've inserted in my lap. Do you now see the thing? No, don't create. If I said yes, it will automatically create it. But I said no. It means that there is still one track, but I've added another instrument, which I cannot, this is the piano, I cannot access this instrument. It's just there. Can I play this instrument? Can I record this instrument? Because it's not in my track, but it's, it has been added in the rack. So for me to access this instrument, I will not insert instrument track. I already have the instrument. What I need is what? Insert a MIDI track. So the MIDI track will not ask you for instrument. It will only ask you what is the name that you want to name that track. I want to name it as what? As guitar. Now, this guitar now, I can come here. This is where we select our instrument, Abby. Then it will only show me the instruments that I have in my rack. You have what? Piano, which is this one. And you have what? AGM, that's number two, which is this. You cannot see any other instrument that is not in this rack. So under this guitar, I'm selecting my AGM. It means I've connected this track to this instrument. It means that one instrument can give you several sounds at the same time. This is what I mean. This sound can only give you this sound. But this VSTI can give you several sounds. Now, it now provides what we call channel. You have channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. This is channel 1. You see, I can change this to this is only, I can change this to China 2, China 3, and China 4. Play this instrument here. It's still going to give me my piano, China 1. Right? If I put this to China 1, it will combine these two. Right? But I put this to China 2, so it will not sound in China 1 because this is formed to what is attached to channel one 
if I send you to China too.